Hi YouTube, this is part 6 of my Groot build tutorial. This is the chest and back details. Um, so when I reached this point in the build, I uh, figured out that I would make several chest pieces to match up with the screen captures that I observed in the movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I looked at Groot as closely as I could, tried to make some pieces that matched up with the pieces I could see in the film. Um, I cut out some pieces from Anti-Fatigue Mat and then used my Dremel to cut, um, to carve small ridges in each piece. You can see here I sort of drew the direction I wanted the, the lines to go. I didn't put all the details with the marker, but I did draw sort of the direct, general direction I wanted them to go. You can see here I just added a little bit, little by little, adding more and more lines um, to get more and more detail. And I did this for each piece. I also used a heat gun to shape the pieces. As I finished them, I sort of rounded them off a bit and uh, tried to match up with what looked like Groot's musculature. Um, so here you see the pieces glued to the sweatshirt and then um, I just continued with adding more vines and building the uh, de just continuing to build the details from there. Uh, once I had those chest places in piece, I knew that I had to start making the, the musculature of the vines uh, for the shoulders and arms and uh, I figured to do this I drew on the sweatshirt itself with a marker and sort of indicated where I thought the bicep should go and where the tricep would go where the the different muscle groups might look the deltoids the shoulder you know in the shoulder and I just sort of started to shape the vines in those directions to match natural you know musculature of a humanoid so um, you can see here just I just kept moving forward adding more and more details and then I I did eventually realize that I needed to make those pieces smaller so I started to shape those upper uh, shoulder areas you'll see the pieces start to get smaller and smaller the ones that I add in to fill in the gaps um, are to create that density and also to make it more tree like where they narrow towards the top the pieces just continue to get a little bit smaller as I go up towards the neck there, the collarbone and the neck. And then here I jump forward a little bit with a progress photo where you see a lot more detail. Um, and then I have one where I actually put it on and you can kind of see uh, where it lines up on my body uh, without the legs there, just the upper half. And then here it is with a little bit of paint. Um, I get into my next video, I'll explain more about the paint process and how I finished up the details on this project. So hope this is helping. I hope you're enjoying my video series on Groot's build tutorial. Thanks for watching and subscribe.